<laughs> Just a little holiday cheer for you on this December. Welcome to the studio. David Kessler here. Thought I'd bring in a little holiday cheer this morning just for something a little bit different. You know, as the song says, we're Santa's, Santa's elves. I may not be one of Santa's elves, but I have been given gifts like many of you that are probably watching this video. As artists, sculptors, craftspersons, artisans, that's our gift. I mean, God gave us those gifts to share with other people. And, you know, we all have them. Everybody has their own gifts, whether you're a business person, a musician, an actor, a craftsperson. It doesn't matter whatever it is. We've all been given gifts to share with other people. And this time of year, particularly, I always think about uh, artists and craftspeople. You know, we can do what other people can't do. We can make things with our hands. We start with nothing and we make something. It's incredible. I mean, that feeling as a, as a craftsperson or an artisan is just amazing that you can take nothing and then a little while later, a couple hours later, an hour later, two days later, you've made something. I mean, it's, it's, it's an amazing feeling. And we love people enough that we share those gifts with other people. And I would ask you, at this time of year, where we're all rushing around thinking about what in the world are we going to buy for people on our Christmas list, or, uh, you know, we're doing Cyber Monday and, good, uh, you know, Black Friday and all these kind of crazy things, remember the craftspeople. Remember the artisans. Remember the artists, whether they're in your community or whether they're online, it doesn't matter. Maybe you know some personally. I mean, you know, they're small business people. They work and live in your community. They support your community. Um, you know, they have families. They have houses to pay for and cars to pay for and kids to put through college. You know, think about them this time of year and how can you support a small local business, an artist, a craftsman, a, a craftsperson? How can you support them? Uh, they make things with their hands for you to enjoy. It's, it's something like nothing else in the world. When you can make something for somebody else and you give it to them and say, look, I made this for you because I love you. It's the gift that I have to give to you. So, you know, think about a handmade holiday. How can you make it a handmade holiday by supporting your local craftspeople uh, and purchasing something from them? Believe me, whoever receives that gift that you give them, well, it, it will last them forever. It may be something that they pass along to their children or future generations of folks to enjoy just as they enjoy it. So think about how can you, you know, have a sort of a handmade holiday with folks on your list and support your local or non-local artisans, however you choose to do that. Just another thought. You know, I always try to advocate for artists and craftspeople. So, you know, if you're able to do that this holiday or you wish to do that, then please consider those folks as you determine how to give gifts to others. Remember that these craftspeople are giving gifts to you because they love you enough to say, hey, this is what I make and I'm putting that work out into the world for others to enjoy. And I would also like to thank you for your support all of this year, 2018. You know, your support allows me to do this. It allows me to do uh, what I love to do and what, I, what you know, my gift is to share with everybody. So thank you so much for each and every one of you that has supported me this year and every other year. So I hope this video was at least entertaining for you, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.